What we are today is a really a farm to bottle distillery. Um, you know, right where uh, it's grown, we grow our own corn and sweet potatoes to make the uh, signature vodka that we make today. Uh, and it's a, we we have a tasting room, an open uh, area where people can come in, and enjoy, and have a nice cocktail. Um, but we in the back is where all the processing takes place. That's where we. The magic happens in distilling. My wife and I both are from this, this area. Uh, grew up in a small town north of here, between here and Mariana. Went to high school in Mariana and graduated from there. And uh, have fond memories of Helena and downtown Cherry Street. I, I, my dad started farming sweet potatoes in, in, uh, in the 80s, early 80s. And, and farming back then got, got really tough. Um, and one of the things that was happening was, you know, you, you, you had to get really, really large, or at least large enough to sustain farming and row cropping, um, or get out, and many farmers at that time got out of farming, uh, or diversify. My dad chose to diversify, so he started farming sweet potatoes, and farming sweet potatoes at a, at a large scale. I wanted to share with you, though, my granddad, who actually bought our farm, um, uh, is, I have him pictured here, and then his dad, was also farming on that land, but he was a sharecropper, never owned it. My, my granddad was also a sharecropper, but he was able to buy that land. So it's the same farm we own today. It's, uh, the whole concept came back when my brother and uh, dad, and they had gone out to a farmer's, uh, a vegetable farmer's uh, conference, and he said these guys were doing some amazing things with sweet potatoes. And this was probably seven, eight years ago, and um, probably during the time when you start seeing sweet potato fries and pies and turnovers and torts and he came back and was talking so uh, excited about this, this, this sweet potato. But he also said that there was a booth at this conference that had a guy from North Carolina that was doing sweet potato vodka. And uh, my son and I had been working for a long time, I say a long time, in the big scheme of things maybe it wasn't. We worked six months trying to perfect the product and get it right and uh, we went batch after batch after batch until we uh, got a good combination of sweet potatoes and corn uh, to make uh, what we consider the best sweet potato vodka in the country. I don't know, we just saw the opportunity and, and I, I will say my dad always did say, hey, if somebody's doing it, you can do it too. So we just figured out a way. Yeah.